Nigeria joins the rest of the world to mark World Teachers Day. And President Mohamed Buhari has disclosed that his administration would collaborate with the military to secure schools across the country. He assured that the implementation of his administration's targets in repositioning teachers in the country would start by January 2022. The president particularly said the Federal Ministry of Education would go into full partnership with the Federal Ministry of Defense, and that's to beef up security in schools with a view to ensuring that students and teachers were adequately protected and safe from harm. I know that for teachers to effectively be at the heart of education recovery, there is a need for continuous retooling. Teachers and all those connected with teaching and learning will henceforth undergo annual training in modern techniques of teaching and learning. This will include digital literacy, trainings in pedagogy, information and communication technology, and others. Education parasitas like the NTI, TRCN, CPN, NUC, NCCE, UBEC, and TED Fund, and other all non-governmental organizations will partner with government to achieve this feat. Government is currently partnering with developers and recognized institutions under the auspices of Federal Ministry of Works and Housing, agencies such as the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, the Federal Government Staff Housing Loans Board, the Federal Ministry of Education Staff Welfare Unit, and the Nigerian Union of Teachers are all collaborating to facilitate this, either through the government social housing scheme, as well as in private public partnership arrangements with the private sector. We worked out the types of houses to be constructed, and based on the number of factors, including the grade levels of officers, the family size, and the type of uh, units, whether they be bungalows, duplexes, and so on, and so forth. To keep teaching and learning ongoing, teachers have to adopt to remote or distance learning method, and to ensure that no learner is left behind. They also took off the duty to assess and identify learning losses and apply recovery measures such as accelerated learning programs to reduce learning gaps. This means that teachers need to be adequately equipped, empowered and supported to be effective in carrying out the tax of education recovery. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.